Is there a second for this motion, the member? Uh, Deputy Speaker, I assume the member for Dobell was supporting the motion because uh, she got up and spoke so uh, enthusiastically yeah, about it. It was the chair's error, and I call for a second for the motion. I, I ha assume happy, the member for Morton would uh, would apply to nice it. Happy to sec I second the motion. I thank the member for Morton for seconding the motion, and the member for Morton has the call. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise to speak on the motion about the importance of penalty rates to Australian workers and their families. And I, I support the member for Wakefield's motion. I, as, the son, as the son of a nurse and the partner of a former child protection worker who did shift work, including night, night work and a lot of weekend work. Uh, now she's a lawyer, so I'm the only one in my household who works weekends. I, I, like my I, like all of my colleagues in the Australian Labor Party, like the, the, the uh, shadow minister beside me, will always support decent jobs with decent pay, decent rights and decent conditions, as do all unions, as do all unions, unions formed to look after workers. At the moment, whenever members of the coalition talk about penalty rates, they're sadly only talking about cutting these rates. Penalty rates compensate people for the time they miss out uh, with their families when they have to do work on the weekends or at nights or on public holidays. Uh, I remember many, many Christmases uh, where my mum or my, my wife uh, wasn't able to attend because they were out serving the, the, their community. Labor knows that a cut to penalty rates is a cut to pay. It means workers and the families of the 4.5 million Australians who rely on penalty rates will be worse off. At a time when Australia is experiencing the lowest wage growth in 25 years, it is astounding that the Abbott Turnbull governments have even considered cutting the incomes of Australian workers. Uh, I notice that Minister Cormann sporadically makes this point and even occasionally seems to believe this point. Uh, we've now got a Prime Minister who has very little understanding of or empathy towards families who struggle to make ends meet. Uh, we need a Prime Minister that understands that penalty rates are crucial in some households. That's why the Prime Minister continues to turn a blind eye to things like tax avoidance by some of this country's biggest companies, while simultaneously presiding over the death of the traditional weekend and the associated penalty rates for everyday Australians. Too often recently, the Australian economic debate has boiled down to a call to slash penalty rates and remove important employee protections. And we've seen, we've seen that the, uh, the government, uh, Prime Minister Turnbull, has rewarded uh, people that have called for cuts to penalty rates by appointing them to uh, government positions. Currently working under these provisions, we've got nurses and police and emergency service workers. Reports have shown that a cut in Sunday penalty rates could potentially cost young nurses and midwives at a minimum $2,000 a year, and for those with more experience, many thousands more. Our, nurse, our nurses, our police, our emergency service providers have one of the most important and sometimes, sadly, one of the most dangerous jobs to deliver uh, care to people or protection to people who at any time may be some of the most vulnerable members of our community. It is only fair that these workers are fairly compensated for the work they do at unsociable hours on weekends and public holidays when they leave their families to care for others. To even suggest that such workers would lose their penalty rates is disrespectful uh, and uh, should be condemned. The government may intend the attack on penalty rates to ex exclude nurses, police, firefighters or ambulance officers. But the idea, the idea that in their place retail, hospitality workers, manufacturing, services, tourism and transport workers should have this pay cut is outrageous. Working and middle class families are already struggling to keep their heads above water. I know of thousands of people in my electorate who rely on weekend penalty rates to simply make ends meet. And this is a vote changer topic, from what I can tell from the street stalls I did on the weekend. Penalty rates for those in these industries are not a luxury, and rarely are they used to generate per capita disposable income. They are instead what puts food on the table and petrol in the car for millions of Australian families. For example, take Ben, a university student uh, from the bush living in my electorate of Morton. Uh, I particularly ask the National Party to take note of this because, like so many people moving to Brisbane from the country uh, to attend university, he studies full-time and lives in a share house with friends, in, but in order to pay for rent, food, household amenities and university supplies, Ben works in the retail sector and, due to university commitments, has no other option other than working on the weekends. 
So a reduction or removal of weekend penalty rates will considerably damage Ben's living arrangements and those of millions of other Australians, particularly those uh, kids, brighter kids from the bush that are trying to uh, improve their circumstances. The reality is that weekend work isn't just for emergency service workers, it's also for kids from the bush like Ben. Uh, for many workers in retail, hospitality, manufacturing, services, tourism and transport, weekend work is not a choice. It's unavoidable and vitally important for their family's future, and that industry depends on their labour and the Labor, the Labor Party to protect their rights. Expired. Question is the motion.